Welcome back, everybody. Each and every week, we love shining a light on a small business, a local business, showing you how, despite the toll the pandemic has taken, many are surviving. And today, Channel 3's Caitlin Francis takes us to an organic tan. What started out as a hobby turned into a business for Nora Russo. Norganics Tan, a play on words featuring her own name and the organic natural products she uses, started off in her house before she opened her first brick and mortar five years ago in Broadbrook. And then I decided to expand. I didn't know where I wanted to expand and this cute little spot reached out to me and it was perfect. This cute little spot is in the mill at Terrafil and she's giving people a boost of self-confidence one spray tan at a time. You feel good, it makes you um, makes your skin soft, it really is a confidence booster and also um, it makes your teeth look whiter, the whites of your eyes look brighter, it, it just really is a great add to your everyday life. Russo says she started spray tanning after she found what she calls scary spots on her own skin from sun exposure. My skin is pretty olivey, but my sisters are not, so they've always spray tanned. I did not because I tanned easily, so I didn't think I needed it. Um, but then when I got the scary spots, I became more cautious and um, really started doing it for like myself and my sisters. A healthy alternative to harmful UV rays. And she says the solutions she handpicked are actually good for sensitive skin. Our products are vegan and um, paraben free. Uh, they really are a great product. There's very little ingredients in it, which is great. Um, and there's no scent to it, so there's no added perfumes. There's no alcohol, so it doesn't dry out your skin. There's no oils in it, so it doesn't stain your clothing and your sheets. It really feels good on your skin. It, fades nicely and it's healthy. Russo says a lot of her business comes from events, people attending weddings, showers, or heading on a vacation. So when the pandemic hit, she took a huge hit. So last year when we were closed between the months of March and June, that, that those are our busiest months with prom and weddings and all of that. So that was a big hit, but it's very busy now. Everyone's getting back into the grind of events. But she says she's actually grateful. Both her landlords were able to give her a break on rent, which helped her get through. And she says cosmetic things like tans might be on the back burner for a lot of people who are saving money in the pandemic. But business and events are picking back up, and she's happy to be giving people a glow on the inside as well as on the outside once again. In Terrafil, I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.